Just before the launch of Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra, we got the full spec sheet of Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra, confirming every big update coming to the Watch 7 Ultra. Even we have the first official look at the Watch 7 Ultra, so stick till the end to find more. And for more videos, don't forget to subscribe. Samsung is going wild with the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra and we got the Watch 7 and 7 Ultra spec sheet and there are some big differences. Now let me share the dimensions of the Watch 7 Ultra first and later we will move on to the display and battery life. We can see Watch Ultra is quite thick compared to the previous generation and even compared to the Watch 7. So Watch 7 comes with 9.7mm thickness compared to 12.1mm on Galaxy Watch Ultra. If you guys don't know, Galaxy Z46 will come with the same 12.1mm thickness when it is folded. This means Watch Ultra and Z46 has the same thickness which is obviously a downside for the people who wants a slimmer watch compared to the Watch Ultra. With this much thickness, the weight of this device is also increased. Watch 7 both models comes with 28.9 and 33.8 grams, but Watch Ultra will come with 60.5 grams of weight. This is insane. Just for perspective, Apple Watch Ultra comes with 14.4 mm of thickness and 61.3 grams of weight, which means in terms of thickness, Galaxy Watch Ultra is slimmer compared to its predecessor. The durability is also confirmed from the Watch Ultra, we are going to see a titanium frame and sapphire crystal glass on the front, which will obviously improve the durability on Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. Speaking of durability, this thing matches the level of Apple Watch Ultra as the waterproofing and dustproofing standards are matching the level of Apple Watch Ultra. Galaxy Watch Ultra will going to come with the IP6X rating which makes this device a completely dust tight and can be used for extreme outdoor conditions. Don't worry, it will also feature IP68 for additional water and dust resistance and this thing can go up to 1080m which means 100 meters matching the level of Apple Watch Ultra. Now the display and size of this watch is also confirmed, it will only feature one size, 47mm and for the people who want a smaller version, should go with the base model watch 7. Now with this size, the display is also confirmed, it will going to feature a same 1.5 inches display. Now why I said same? Because we saw 1.5 inches display on Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. But this will be a new display and it will boost the peak brightness on Watch Ultra and it will match the level of Apple Watch Ultra 2, yes. 3000 nits of speed brightness is coming on Galaxy Watch Ultra. Now that we know about the dimensions, let's see the first look and then we'll talk about the battery improvement. These are some of the official pictures of the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. I'm expecting Samsung would use these pictures on the website and this is surely a marketing material of the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. Before talking about the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra, this is a new look at the Galaxy Watch 7. This is just a traditional Galaxy watch as we saw last year. There is a small change in the band where we can see the blue and orange lines on each corner. The display looks exactly like the last year Galaxy Watch 6 but it will boost the 2000 nits of peak brightness. Now moving on to the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra, this is the final look. At first glance, it does look like the Apple Watch Ultra. There are some minor details we can see here. Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra took an inspiration from Apple Watch Ultra for the band design and even on the side, there's an extra button and this button looks more like the action button used in the Apple Watch Ultra. Now if you notice or not, we can see there is a rotating bezel on top of Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. Yes, this rotating bezel looks like a rotating one but sources suggest this is just for a design and there is no rotating bezel on Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. This seems a bit off to me because Samsung better knows people really want a rotating bezel and that is the reason some of the people skip Galaxy Watch 5 and go with the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. If there is no rotating bezel, you got no other option but to go with the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Now the reason I said this because there is no confirmed information about the Galaxy Watch 7 Classic. Which means this year, Samsung will only launch 3 new watches. They already launched the Galaxy Watch FE and 2 other smart watches. The base model Galaxy Watch 7 and the new one Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. No classic this year. Now let's see the battery numbers. The battery life is one of the most crucial part of device and it is also leaked out. 590 milliamp for Galaxy Watch Ultra. Believe me, the numbers are just insane for the Galaxy Watch Ultra and can easily beat the Apple Watch Ultra with the big margins. According to previous sources, Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra will last up to 100 hours. 
this is an insane claim because looking at the Apple Watch Ultra, the claim numbers are 36 hours and 72 hours on low power mode. Also, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro claim number was 80 hours. This means it can easily beat the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro in battery life. The charging numbers are also out for the Watch 7 Ultra. Usually, we want a faster charging speed on smartphones, and Samsung was not listening to its consumer for faster charging speed, like S24 Ultra has the same 45 watt of fast charger, but people want it at least 65 watt. Now, in smartwatches, Samsung is finally changing the charging speed, and in all Galaxy Watch 7 series. According to reports, we are going to see a 50% faster charging speed on Galaxy Watch 7 series, including the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. Now, Samsung gave us a 5 watt with the Watch 4 and update to 10 watt with the Watch 5 series, but Samsung stayed with the 10 watt with the Watch 6 and 6 Classic. But Watch 7 series might feature a 15 watt of charging speed. This would greatly improve the charging speed. Now, this charging speed is close to the wireless charging of smartphones. Even S24 Ultra has a 15 watt of wireless charging capability. This indicates Samsung is going big with the Watch 7 series. Now, I will talk about the real battery claims for the Watch 7 Ultra, but first, the same source claims Watch FE, the cheaper version, will going to get a slower charging speed. Now, this has to happen. Something has to cut the cost to make it more affordable, and this new watch is a remake version of the older Watch 4. So, with a smaller battery, we can take a slower charging speed only at 5 watt, compared to 15 watt on the Watch 7 series. Now, you get what you pay for. These all features are confirmed from FCC certification. The price is almost confirmed. Two sources confirmed different prices. Before this news, internal source claims we are going to see a price increase on the Watch 7 Ultra that would cost around $600 to $700, which actually makes sense as this watch is going to compete with the Apple's high-end watch, the Apple Watch Ultra 2. But now, confirmed sources suggest the price of the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra is around $699 and confirmed from 91 mobiles. With this, it would be Samsung's most expensive watch till date. And does that make sense to sell this watch for this much? Well, Samsung is adding some big features in Watch 7 Ultra, which is why this thing cost around $700. Now, would you buy the Watch 7 Ultra with this price? Finally, after so many leaks and rumors, Samsung started the reservation for the Galaxy Watch Ultra. You can head over to Samsung's official website and reserve your next Galaxy device and can save up to $50 when later on you will pre-order your device. There is no commitment involved in it. You just need a name and an email. Should you reserve now, I think if you are looking to get a Watch Ultra, this would be a great option. This is the official teaser showing off a couple of things. Obviously, at the end, it shows the date of the release date, July 10th, but showing off Eiffel Tower, meaning the next Unpack event will going to happen in Paris before the Olympics. They will going to live stream at 3 p.m. local time, 9 a.m. Eastern time, and 6 a.m. Pacific time and YouTube is the best place to watch official event, where we can see multiple devices like the Galaxy Z Fold 6, Z Flip 6, Galaxy Watch 7 series including the special edition Galaxy Watch Ultra, Galaxy Buds and Galaxy Ring. On this note, if you find value from this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time till then, peace out.